Now, finally, guys, we come to the last type. And this is a situation which is like the worst case scenario in exponents. And this is the use of the K method. This is when we use something called the K method. All the K method is, is replacing a variable that seems to be a little bit confusing or hard to interpret and let that variable equal to K. All right, so let me show you the worst case scenario and how we get away with it using the K method. So, this is type five, the worst case scenario. And in this question here, I have a to the two n plus two times a to the n plus one, all over a to the n plus one. One more way of identifying the use of the K method is to look at the format of the expression at the top. Can you see it is following a quadratic formula? Quadratic formula is A squared bx plus c. Can you see that? ax squared plus bx plus c. You must know your formats. Now once I know it follows that format, let's first start by simplifying this by breaking down the bases. Once you break down the bases, life becomes so easy. Because a to the 2n can be rewritten as a to the n times by a to the n plus 2 times a to the n plus 1 all over a to the n plus 1. Now you probably say, sir, can, can I not just take out a common factor? No, you can't because there are three terms at the top and there is no common, there's a to the n in the common in the first term a to the n common in the second term, but there's no a to the n in the third term. So you cannot remove a common factor. So once you reach this point, which looks harder? Which part looks harder? The a to the n part. So now we use the k method. All you do is write the following. Let a to the n equal to k. Now, all you do is, wherever you see a to the n, you're going to substitute k. So watch this here. What does this a to the n become? k times by a to the n becomes k plus 2 times a to the n is k plus 1 all over a to the n is k plus 1. Now you can see this taking some shape now. Because k times k is k squared. Plus 2 times k is 2k. Plus 1. All over k plus 1. Now if you look at the top, you will identify that it looks like a trinomial. So now go and factorize that trinomial. And you will get... What two numbers multiply together can give me positive 1 and add it together give me positive 2k. I will get k plus 1 into k plus 1 all over k plus 1. And now watch here. You now get some enjoyment. k plus 1 at the top will cancel with the k plus 1 at the bottom. And I'm now left with k plus 1. But now I must not forget, remember in the beginning to use the k method, I let a to the n equal to k. I then substitute the a to the n back. Therefore, my answer will equal to 
a remember k is equal to a to the n plus one isn't this an interesting way of solving? It's one of the most powerful tools you can use in grade 11, the use of the K-method.